So this morning I came out into the garden and I have got a absolutely horrific infestation of aphids on some of my pepper plants. I've noticed it growing over the last few days. Um, it's time to spray some more neem. So I will probably be doing that this evening. You can see my trusty garden partner. Hey Chance. He says hello. Um, trying to just sort of minimize some of the damage that they're doing. At this point, I've looked for ladybugs multiple times on Amazon. It's almost impossible to find them. And if you can find them, they are like a hundred bucks and no thank you. Um, so we'll do whatever we have to do. Um, like I said, I try to be organic as much as possible. Um, so I'm gonna go that route first, obviously, and we'll see what we can come up with. Hopefully I will be able to save all of this and uh, yeah, we won't have any problems. So here's one of the pepper plants I was talking about. You can see the some of the ants that are kind of running around on there. Um, they are actually on there to eat the aphids, which is lovely, but uh, you're also eating some of my leaves. But if I lift this up, uh, there we go. You can see just aphids for days. And so, one of the things I've been doing is kind of coming through and just trying to hand sort of wipe them off and um, squish them, get rid of them that way. But then they seem to be back on there the next day. So if you guys have any cure-alls besides what I'm doing, let me know. Otherwise I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna spray some neem this afternoon or this evening and go from there. All right, I was talking to my brother this morning and he said he wanted me to talk about squash bugs. Um, he had a friend who said they were having a really difficult time with them. Now I am by no means the expert, I will tell you that right now. I have actually not had any that I've seen so far this year, um, but I will tell you what I do know. And that is that they're the devil. Um, once they're there, they can be really difficult to officially get rid of. I have found the best thing you can do is to be super hands-on with your plants. Come out every morning, flip over the leaves, you know, see what's there. If you find them, get them, drop them on the ground, squish them, um, avoid the smell on your fingers. So I just drop them on the ground and I squish them or I get a rock and squish them. Um, if you have the, le the eggs, you can get them and squish them, you know, between your finger and the leaf to try to get rid of them that way. If you're being completely overrun, there's a couple of things. Again, I try to be as organic as possible. So neem oil is my friend. Um, I've actually had to use it three times, I think, this growing season, um, mostly because I'm dealing with some serious aphid issues in my peppers. Um, and Sometimes I feel like I'm winning the race and sometimes I feel like they're winning the race. But as far as uh, using the neem oil, just make sure that you're not using it during the daytime because it can burn your plants. So I always do it after the sun has gone down, before it's dark. Um, and that way it has all night to sort of work its magic and hang out on the plants and, and all of that. And then the next day you should be good to go. Um, it's okay to do that about once a week. Some people do. I try to use it as sparingly as possible. Another thing you can do is take a piece of cardboard or like a two by four and lay it in your bed. Okay, just right there on the ground. Squash bugs tend to like to hang out underneath something. And so you can lay that down in the evening and then come out early the next morning and flip it over and you'll usually have a few squash bugs under there. You grab them up, squish them, boom, 
you've dealt with them and then you just repeat that cycle. Um, continuing to check under your leaves. Look, your garden is your garden. Um, I am all for being 100% organic and if I can do that, I do that because I want to know what's going in to the bellies of my family, okay? But you have to do what you have to do and so if you have to use a, a stronger product, I'm not judging you, okay? That's, that's up to you, your garden, your rules. Um, so you do you, just be sure that you do a little bit of research, you know what you're doing, you know, you know what the consequences of that are and it's fighting the good fight. Everything has a cycle. The squash bugs will come, the squash bugs will go. Uh, hopefully you're not fighting a serious infestation because once they come in, sometimes they will lay their eggs in your soil and then the next year and the next year, it's really hard to deal with them. But try some of those tricks. My first go-to would probably be using the cardboard or using a board. I'd, I'd probably put several boards in there if I had a really bad problem and just see if I could get rid of them you know, as naturally as possible. And then I would move on to the, um, using the neem oil. And if I absolutely had to, I might be persuaded to do something a little stronger. I know that the best preventative medicine is just be super hands-on with your plants. So I'm out here every morning, flipping leaves over, checking out my plants, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I've known from the beginning that I had an issue with aphids and uh, been fighting that fight. But um, either I'm gonna win or they're gonna win. I'm not gonna go any stronger than what I've already gone on my peppers. And uh, we'll go from there. But if you're having an issue with squash bugs or if you know a better natural organic cure than what I've already talked about, let me know, leave a message in the, in the comments and definitely subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Um, squash bugs. Yeah. Keep in mind with the squash bugs too, you can always try diatomaceous earth. I have not used that. Um, I don't really know why. I may have to give that a try this year. Maybe, maybe that's something I could think about doing for my peppers. Keep up. moving. So how much more time do you think? A couple hours. A couple minutes. hours. I'm videoing you. I'm gonna fall for real. Just step down. <laughs> 